Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. I appreciate you showing up, showing your girl some love. And you know I can't do it without y'all. I need my family, my co-hosts to be with me when I am talking about the things they are talking about in them streets. Uh-huh. And sure as right as rain, we got Candy Girl responded back to someone on social media trying to get them straight about what she said when she said it and she meant what she said on the last, the finale season of The Real Housewives, uh, season 14, when she so adamantly asked, or told, really, I don't want Todd to get married again. He can date, he can get in a serious relationship, but he he, mm -mm, he can't marry nobody else. And Candace's concern was <sighs> some other woman coming up in her house, spending her money that she left for Todd, and the children they have together okay and i like i got it it sounds good we're gonna use it but mama joyce tells no lies mama joyce tells no lies and we know she didn't smile at your wedding girl <laughs> um mama joyce did not smile at your wedding doing those photographs now what's up with that Tell me, honey, because I want to know, I want to know, I want to know. Mama Joyce was smiling when she was taking pictures with you. But when <laughs> it was time to take them group pictures, Mama Joyce was mean mugging out there. I mean, she was mean mugging. But candy, 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 girl, we got to talk about this. We got to talk about this. We got to talk about this. Okay. You and Todd have two children. And then y'all have one with somebody else well mama joyce is just saying she don't want you spending all your money making a man or, or leaving a man to not have to do nothing because you're going to leave him very wealthy and honey you need to save some of that money or the majority of that money should go to riley because riley ain't got no dad up in this world it don't seem like she have a granddaddy and your daddy can what's up with that why well, we'll never hear anything about your daddy we always see mama joyce we always see your mama's side of the family but we have yet to see your daddy who married y'all girl or maybe he don't want to be on tv we'll just say that because if not, you need to do some more healing. Or have you just said, I want to love my daddy from a distance. I can't take him. <laughs> and that's pretty much a lot of people in the world, Canada. A lot of people. But, you know, Todd quickly said when um, DJ A1 and Kayla was a, a special guest over there. That, you know, Riley's spoiled. And, and um, Todd, you know, pretty much said so much in other previous episodes we saw them. But now he's going to say the kids are spoiled. Well, on the two children you're talking about that have sense enough to understand that you're talking about them is Riley and Kayla. Okay? Now, we already know you don't treat Kayla like nothing when it comes to that moolah. you like, go get your own girl. But I know in your deepest heart of hearts, you would go and save her. She got in financial traps. But Mama Joss was saying, Block was a very poor poor father figure and she just wants candy to set her up a little bit more than what she was set up for riley i mean not riley but a uh, blaze and ace because they have a daddy they have a daddy that still need to be working if you die he needs to still be adding on to the empire on thing candy say just don't marry because i don't want my money that i left for you and our two children 
to go be spent on a female, a female living off her money. And I was right with Mama Joyce. And Candy does have a point, but it's not valid. Okay, it's illogical how she's thinking on that particular subject. And maybe that's why she's mad. But I'm like, be mad at yourself. Don't be mad at anybody else, Candy, because we all know what you were saying was bogus. And it was selfish. And if you think Todd gonna sign something that says he can't remarry, girl, you got another thing coming. And your mama hit it on the hell, hit it on the nail, honey. <sighs> when you're gone, Candy, if you ain't got nothing in writing, it just is what it is, okay? Todd gonna do whatever he wanna do with the money. Kayla gonna do whatever she wanna do with the money. Riley gonna be doing, you know, doing what she do with the money, but she's still trying to figure out why you probably need to leave them anything. Okay, because she on Mama Joy's side. And I tell you, if I was her age and I wouldn't get along with my dad and, you know, you pretty much had to be my mama and my daddy, then no, I ain't got time to be running him up. But like I said, therapy, prayer and therapy can change a lot of things. But like I said, Riley probably will forget, but she ain't going to forget. And she's not going to be around Block unless Block now shows her some attention when he's still up and can do for himself. And when he's getting them geriatric ears, okay? When he's rolling around in a wheelchair or, or, or pushing a scooter or, you know, one of those little, um, what do you call them thing? The uh, hand wheelchair where you can be walking, but you, you, you push it along with you. It has wheels on. Y'all know what I'm talking about. But anyway... Don't get wait until her daddy get into a situation like that for her to say, I'm going to turn the other cheek and go on and try to help my daddy. That's an angel move right there. That's an angel move. But Riley ain't got no angel moves in her right now. She ain't got it. She's trying to secure her future by getting her the best education she can pop possibly get with the career she chose okay and hopefully she'll stay in that role for the rest of her life or you know she can get into other things but Candy has to make sure she leaves the money appropriately but Candy got all these damn trusts going here there and everywhere and ain't none of them completed one well, none of them completed by time it was the end the season of season 14 so my thing is it's a lot of hell ra hell raising going on in that house about what you supposed to lead them and who is supposed to be left out because i'm like yeah i think you're crazy as hell to have don one or uh, being one of the guardians or what do you call it um shit i don't remember what they called it but uh he was gonna be like a over the trust the joint trust and stuff I'm like, girl, you don't need dumb one. You need to go talk to a serious lawyer that you trust and have them read the will and last testament for you and what was left for each and every one of your family members that you wanted to leave something for. Now, I'm pretty sure you and Todd over there raising uh, y'all voices, not getting no loving in, all this stuff because money. And remember, money can be the root of all evil. It depends on how bad you want it and what you would do to get it. And then while you got it, how long you going to hold on so tight to it that you're not going to be able to enjoy it. That's what I'm saying. Now, Candy, you don't lost your damn mind. If you really think that you're going to convince Todd to say, um, I'm not getting married anymore. You cannot do that. Okay? Everything is relinquished. Uh, any uh, thoughts any well not thoughts but any promises uh dealing with um him not getting married again and just because you say you wouldn't do it don't make you should uh tell Todd if I leave you all this money you cannot remarry now I'll put in the clauses of your last will and testament if Todd uh prefers to remarry x amount of dollars or strip him all the strip him all the way down till he gets nothing, okay. But as long as he stays single, and he's just mingling out there, you know, doing what he needs to do to get his rocks off or whatever. But if he remarries, he gets zero. See, you can do that, can you? Can put it in that clause if that's how strongly you feel about it, and your trust and believe. If you got an ironclad prenup. Or guard, not guardianship, but um, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, guardian of the estate, he can't do nothing but not marry again. 
But people are looking at you. And I know you say, I don't give a damn what people telling, talking about me out and down this and third. But your mama talking too, honey. Your mama talking too. She's trying to say, look, y'all getting money together now. Y'all need to decide which funds uh, that we're working together needs to be set up in a, this is what I'm going to lead toward for uh you know, if you if you leave the earth before he does. So it won't be no back and forth. It won't be no when Mama Joyce got into her head and said this, that, and the third. Or Candy must be crazy. I don't think I'm going to remarry. I'm going to be happy too. And just like Todd said, um, he he's not going to be that selfish. He wants uh, Candy to be uh, free. He wants her to um, be loved by someone else. And if she decides she wants to get married again, then hopefully the man that she's marrying we love his kids as much as he loved his kids. You understand what I'm saying? And I was like, okay, okay, I see what you're saying, Todd. But I see what Mama Joy's saying, too. We don't want you to uh, get too much of Candy's money uh, so you can friv frivolously blow it. You see what I'm saying? We have no doubt over here at the house that you love Candy. And Candy loves you. We have no doubt about that. But see, when money tends to get in the midst of everything... It gets murky. It gets murky and it gets people out of their heads and their minds. And they start to say and do things that is quite different from their demeanor, you know, before anything was said about, okay, if I die, this is what's going to happen. Money is a powerful thing and it's a powerful drug given to the wrong person to misuse it. You see what I'm saying? Did you follow me when I said that? People, did you follow me? So, um... Candy just came out here and got on social media and was trying to tell off a, um, a spectator or a fan that was trying to give her her advice. They can't, you know you can't get on nobody. But they just giving their uh, opinion about something because everybody have opinions just like everybody have a butthole that shit comes out of, okay? So, with that said, uh, everybody's just in a, uh, 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 we just appalled at Candy right now thinking she can pull those kind of strings. Well, we know you used to, you know, making sure your man is good, whether he was your boyfriend at the time, whether he was your man, however y'all say it these days, okay? Uh, but don't think what you would do for him, he would do for you. You see what I'm saying? Because the contract and the verbal agreement was null and void once you left this earth. Pretty much he could do whatever he want to do, and it's no file because you died. So... You know, if you didn't die, you scoop around here and fool around, then you would be like marked as, you know, you should have stayed with your wife. You know what I'm saying? Y'all should have made it work and all this kind of stuff. But just because somebody come out and say something, don't make it uh, so that it's true. No, that person's just giving their opinion and how they feel about said situation. Now, uh, like I said, I'm, I'm on Mama Joyce's team because, damn, I'm going to work hard and, and uh, I had a lot before I got with you. Even though you said tall, I had a lot too. But it, what is he investing in? Because he already said his name ain't on that house. So te technically, he could sell that shit, okay? And go back to New York and live good off of you. And with the two kids. Because I'm, I'm telling you, I cannot see Todd not being married and entrusting another woman in his life to help him with them two kids if anything happened to you this year next year or whenever he's gonna need help and he don't have family down here in new york so your fan your babies might go straight to new york with him if you decide to uproot if you die can and what could you do because you ain't setting all these special clauses in there. Because I know when you start putting clauses and that person has to see what you really feel about them. And the way that you're moving and setting up this contract agreement that this is what I get. If I, uh, if I, uh, if you die before me. And uh, <laughs> probably was shady as hell when they put up Candace assets and then they put up Taurus assets. And the two did not match. The two did not match at all. So, pretty much what I'm saying is everybody have points. Everybody have, can have her point of mind or her point of view or how she thinks things should go. Todd has his and everybody else has theirs. But what they do is going to be what they do. And they were, they, well, Todd looked so young then. Candy kind of looked like the same um, age she's been forever in a day. But 
Oh, yeah, that's how has grown up with us. He got the little baby uh, face gone about his beard, and now he looking like a very sophisticated man. But we're going to get into what Yahoo said, okay? Because a lot of people weighed in on this situation. And I don't care. Mama Joyce don't like toys. <laughs> she don't like him because he's not making, uh, well, he's not, his revenue is not on Candy's level. Now, I think if the revenue was equal, or it was more, meaning Todd was making more than Candy, then Mama Joyce would definitely, you know, be more support, supportive of this marriage. But since she makes more and will continue to make more because of who she is and who she's aligning herself with these days. You understand what I'm saying? So, of course, the money is going to be on Candy's side. But how Mama Joyce and Todd are going back and forth with the money situation. All that money could be taken from you within a flash of an eye blink. And then what, what is Todd going to step up? Is Todd going to secure and take care of you the way he said in his vows? That remains to be seen, baby girl. Because, you know, everybody say one thing or another and then damn do another thing and you be under the water, okay? D drowning. But let's get into this shadow and act on behalf of Yahoo. It was a Bree Williams wrote it out for us. And she titled it Real Housewives of Atlanta Candy Birds Claps Back after being called selfish for not wanting Todd to remarry if something happens to her. Now see Candy, you already wrong. I'm gonna show you where you're wrong. I'm gonna do it quick, fast, and hurry. This person is just repeating what Todd said. Did you watch the playback, honey? Did you miss that session when a, um, DJ and DJ A1 was talking to Todd about the comings and goings and what was being said on this particular episode and all this, that, and the third. Did you miss it, Candy? Because your husband sat up there and said, oh, that's just selfish. That's just selfish of Candy. So, of course, other people are going to be aligned with how Todd thinks. They think the same way. And they're going to be like, yeah, that is selfish. And come to find out that my opinion and I feel my opinion matters, okay? That is selfish, Candy. That's selfish. Because even in the biblical days, when a widow got, you know, widowed or whatever, the brother of the said husband she was with, with, with if he didn't have a wife at that time, he would be marrying her. Or just, you know, hey, you can't stop love when it's there. But you can put some parameters in your last will and testament what's going to happen. <laughs> if Todd do this thing called remarrying, he would have no money, okay? Because hopefully he'll marry somebody that's making the same kind of money you had or more. Because uh, he kind of give me the kelp man syndrome type. But, you know, I I'm liking Todd. He's standing firm. And, you know, he's okay in my book right now. Because, you know, I'm a fair weather friend. I can go either way. And I pretty much, I am non-biased. You know what I'm saying? I get in anybody's ass that's doing wrong. And then I'll be uplifting them later on down the road if they did something very positive. For themselves and for the community. You know, this is how I go. I'm very, very, I pride myself in being non-biased, okay? But, um, yeah, let's get into the article. It said, the Real Housewives of Atlanta star Candy Burris is setting the record straight about her relationship with her husband Todd Tucker after their marriage recently headlines. Okay, during the season finale of the Real Housewives of Atlanta on September 5th, the topic of estate planning was brought up while Burris was hanging out with her mother, Joyce Jones. The escape singer revealed that she was she was she will set a trust fund for her three children. And Tucker, in case she were unexpectedly passes away. Okay, now she can't. I, I thought you had uh, Kayla in there somewhere now. Don't be no fair weather or uh, stepmom. Either you're going to include her or you're not going to include her. But to me, you said Riley, Ace, and uh, baby girl Blaze, three children, you're going to take care of your husband. That's, that's admirable. All that is very admirable. But you need to hear everybody's name in the pot of what you're trying to leave, you, who you're trying to leave money to. And then they can get it on this said date. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no sense of you letting Todd decide what he want to do. Just put, stop being um, one-minded or, or one-trained, one-minded person. Uh, train train yourself to think outside of the box a lot, Cannon, when it comes to Todd and his daughter. 
and what you feel about financially securing Riley and your other two children with Todd. I mean, it's going to hurt some feelings. I, I know it's going to hurt some feelings. And you probably call everything under the sun. So for a child of God, by Todd. But you strong enough. You made him sign that prenup before y'all got married. Or you said, well, not going to be no marriage. I know it would hurt the uh, it would hurt y'all both. But see, both of y'all were thinking about income. Y'all were thinking about money. And she already knew she made my, more money than you. But she wasn't going to be stupid. But she is playing stupid now thinking you're going to be sitting up there um, being single and ready to mingle for the rest of your life. No, Todd it seems kind of like a person that he wants to have one person in his life that he can trust, that he can confide in, and he can build with. He found that in Candy. But if Candy leaves this world, better about a dollar on and ain't no bad woman, he going to be married again because he just likes that uh, I guess, scene or a feeling of being married, belonging to someone and them caring for you just as well as you caring for them. But um, <clears throat> let's go back to the article here. Come on, phone. Okay. It says, Burris went to share uh, that if something was to happen to her, she wouldn't want Todd or Tucker to remarry because she doesn't want the potential spouse to gain legal rights to anything. That was meant to be passed down to our children. Well, see, Candace, like I said, you're saying all the right things, and everybody can feel you on that situation, but put the shit up in your estate planning that if bruh man, which is uh, Tiny Tim Todd Tucker, we like to call him over here, if he feels he needs to get married again, he relinquish all of the monies. That's just like when you... Um, have been say you and Todd had been together and he was the breadwinner and he provided this lavish lifestyle for y'all to dwell in and for some reason you did not want to be with him maybe he cheated maybe he just ain't the man you thought he was or whatnot and you get a divorce then you and your attorney go in and see how much y'all can get from Todd but you probably said well no I want him to have um well, well she might say she wants spousal support and she's not going to work because her kids come first and she didn't work when she was married to Todd. What do you think the judge going to do? Nine times out of ten, he's going to give her spousal support for a certain amount of years. And um, that's how she's going to get her money from you. Now, um, same thing with Todd. He would might want spousal support from you. Or a, a, a state planning where he puts in a clause where if he die, I mean you die, you're going to take care of him. Because he has two little kids to take care of. And so he would be like their per, primary caregiver and he needs to be with them at this young age. Say if you die, you know, this year, like next year, something to that degree while they're still young. He needs to be making sure he's taken care of and he have funds for every last one of his children and himself. Okay? But I don't think no judge is going to allow you to say or dictate he can't get married again. You can put it in the clause. I don't think Todd will sign it. Or if he did sign it, he's going to break it. <laughs> Meaning he's going to break it when he don't got enough money saved up to be able to say, oh, fuck it. You know, I don't care. I'm marrying you and that's it. Even though I'm going to lose this money, uh, she's going to set up for me. But I love you. Love is more stronger than money. You know, will he go for that? I, I don't think so. But like I said, Candy can't. She can say anything she wants. But I don't think Todd would sign a agreement to where if she died uh, this year, next year, or five years, seven, eight years from now, he's going to sit there and be a widow. And he ain't going to remarry. You know, somebody. Because that's just kind of a little bit out of touch. You want he would say he wants you to be happy and if remarrying is gonna make you happy, then fine, do that. You know? Uh he didn't say you know, any specific time. He didn't say, Well, she gotta wait at least a year or at least six months. And, no, he was saying if she wanna get a, go once I die, y'all bury me and I'm gone about my business. If she wanna get married that same year or a few months from there, or hell it's next month, she can do so. And I thought that was nice, but you know, and that was more so the train the uh the th frame of mind you should be in. You don't want nobody to be unhappy. You don't want them pining for you when you dead and gone and don't know nothing about this realm of life anymore. 
I mean, I can understand why people are coming out and telling Candy, you don't, you don't lost your mind, you don't bumped your damn head. But anyway, her mom pretty much tried to tell her that, but she, she really wasn't listening. She was, cause her mama did say, you'll be dead and gone. How, how you gonna say something? You don't know what that man gonna do. Okay, he might not even take care of your two children that you had with him. But you know, that's just a, me seeing a little further into the situation. He ain't got nothing to do with this article. But we go back to the article. It says. um the reality star sentiments didn't sit well with the fan who took to Twitter to call Burris selfish for wanting Tucker to remain legally single. Okay. The person wrote Candy selfish as hell saying if she dies, Todd should never marry again. What kind of love is that? Hashtag Real Housewives of Atlanta. As soon as Burris caught wind of the tweet, she didn't hesitate to hit back at the fan for allegedly she's selfish. I wouldn't marry again if something happened to him, she tweeted. I didn't say he couldn't date, but marriage is a lot. Like, can you worry about the wrong thing? You ain't, on, you ain't on this world no more. You ain't in this world. So what a person decides to do after your head is cold and you're buried under that ground or put in a little vault or whatever, that's their business, Candy. You're not married anymore, not legally, not on paper, and not in this world. So you can't really dictate shit. You see what I'm saying, Candy? Your mama tried to tell you that, but I'm I'm going to uh, bring it on home for, okay? But anyway, um, <clears throat> okay. Then we have other people uh, chime in. Many people agreed with Candy Burr's choice of wanting to remain single and why she wanted Tucker to do the same. After hitting back at the fan who called her selfish, many of Burr's fans came to her defense in the comments. See, just some fair weather friends, Candy. They're going to lead you down the wrong street, the wrong way, and you're going to be fucked up, okay? You need to listen to your mama, and you need to listen to the, well, you need to listen to the Lord first, if you know him, girl. If you know, if you don't know him, get get to know him, okay? Then you listen to your mama from a logical standpoint, because she's been through a divorce. You see what I'm saying? Let her guide you, and then you use your logical deducing talents on knowing what's real what fits your situation and what doesn't okay and then always run it past the lord he won't lead you astray no he won't because he's an on-time god or yes he is okay but uh going back to the story it said um okay i agree with oh, wait a minute. i agree with that sentiment one thousand percent he inherits Candy's bag, and then here comes the gold diggers and opportunists trying to get the bag and the peach for season 33. I don't know where the hell that came from. Okay, one person tweeted, uh, There are some men out there that don't want their wives to marry again when they die. You'll never know because they'll keep it private. Her explanation was the woman may try to keep him from taking care of the kids. I agree with her. Someone else wrote, um, <laughs> and I can say that this is one thing that's certain and two things for sure. You can't make nobody do something that they already don't want, don't, don't want to do, or they're going to do it anyway. You see what I'm saying? So your intentions could be admirable, but guess what? It can fall flat in front of your face as well. Cause see, that's candy dad. Candy dad used to be married to mama Joyce. Okay. We see how that went. So she has some good points of interest to take notes of not saying all them fit the key the lock you're trying to open up but you, you need to be talking to your husband you really need to be um um putting it all on the table okay letting him understand where you're coming from we're trying to put mama joyce in there uh saying she's gonna be over the the uh, trust too that she's going to tell you what to do. He don't like Don, uh, Don Juan's over it either. I saw his body language. I knew where he was going with it. But, you know, I guess you don't really care about what he wants or thinks or any of that. But uh, you can't control somebody, Candy. Can I control how they feel about a certain situation when you're the one uh, bringing home the big books? Okay? Because his feelings are hurt. They're a little jaded because everybody's seeking, uh, seeking out you and not him. And like I said, he finally had to come to terms with she's the brand. All right. You're not the brand, Todd. She's the brand. Nobody knows you. Never really knew you. Uh, 
up to a certain degree until you got with Candy. And Candy blew up on Real Housewives of Atlanta. And we knew her past attributes in the music industry that she's no stranger to. But a Real Housewives of Atlanta finessed her into a lot of different doors and avenues. And if you had some part to play in that, then kudos to you. Then tell Candy, this is the money that you want from making sure she was good while she was living. The opportunities that you lost uh, because you was working with her and making sure she was good. Her brand was on point and it was moving forward to even more revenue streams. These are the hard questions. These are the hard talks that you must talk about. And don't leave them to chance. Don't leave them. But don't want to, you know, navigate the waters on who should begin what. If this certain situation happened, don't leave it to Mama Joyce to, to decide this, that, and the third. That's where you and Ty have to have this conversation with the Lord, you know, that will guide you and navigate you through these murky waters. And you will be fine. But I really think, and I'll say it all, I say it all, all, all. I'll say it all again, okay? So I got tongue twisted, okay? But you don't need Don Juan over anything, okay? And you definitely don't need Mama Joyce over anything. You need a lawyer, okay? Who um, specializes in this type of estate planning. And you can make a video. You can make a nice video and record it and, you know, say something cute like, y'all watching this, I know I'm not a part of the world that you all are a part of anymore. And just go into specifics, okay? So they'll know it came from you. It wasn't nobody, you know, harassing you or making you say and do these things. You were with it in your sound mind and body. Videotape that shit and say to Riley, I'm leaving this, that, and the third, and tell her why you're leaving it, and that she, you know, you would have wanted to see her grow into herself that you know she would have grown into. Then you do the same thing with your mama. You want to add shit with your uh, um mom. Um, we call her aunts. Do the same thing with that. Do the same thing with Todd. Do the same thing with um. What's his name? Uh, I mean, uh, what's her name? Uh, Kayla. Okay? And Melvin and Patrick and whoever else under the sun. If you want to leave Dale Chanel's 4 days for a little piece of money, go ahead. We'll pick it up. Me and the family will be down there trying to pick it up and see what you left us, girl. All right? But that is my idea of doing it the proper way. And you're, face, you're facing it head on. So you can have these other conversations that may come uh, after you have solidified everything you wanted the lawyers to put in, uh, you know, the agreement of the estate planning for each and every one of your loved ones. And if people got their feelings hurt, at least you'll see, because they'll come and tell you you're still on this uh, life that we're living. And you could um, listen to all their they woes and, and, and concerns and this, that, and the third, and the thing, the thing would still be the same. This is what you're getting, period and point blank. You can always change it as the years go by and people not acting right. You can add more. You can delete some. You know what I'm saying? Because it's your money. You worked hard for it. You made it do what it do. And they were able to live a comfortable life as well as yourself. But um, to make those type of demands and, and put them on people. Because what if Todd died and you got matched up with this beautiful man that he, he had enough money to do what the hell he wanted to do with it. But he just wanted to shower you with it and making sure you good when you already got money. You're going to tell me you ain't going to marry no man like that. That's wanting your hand in marriage. Child, please. You're lying to yourself, Ken. You're lying. Because you would get married again. Uh, but it just is what it is. That's all I have for this video, guys. If y'all like it, love that. Okay, did I finish this? Oh, no, I didn't finish this, y'all. What make that up? Let's see. I think I did. I think I finished the article. Yes, I did. I did. I finished it, y'all. So y'all get down in those comments and y'all let me know what y'all thought about this situation. Candy uh, barking back or getting back with a, I guess, a fan of hers. Or was a fan of hers until she said what she said. And Candy meant that shit, too. Um, or do y'all agree with Todd? Because Todd is the first thing that came out of his mouth when he heard that shit. He said, she's just being selfish. Just selfish. So if you need to get on anybody, you need to get on Todd. And not the fans, because we only just making opinions. We don't know what y'all got going on. We only, you, you, we only see what y'all give us. And if it's fucked up shit, then we're going to talk about it, okay? We're going to make sure all the foolish, fakery, fraudulent. 
<coughs> excuse me, secret shit is going on, we don't want it. Okay, we don't want it. We help you uh, by giving you opinions and, and scenarios to help you move along. You know, if you haven't come across a certain scenario, but to me, you're bringing a digger, uh, a, a more deep women, a deeper grave for yourself by saying you want your mama and you want Don Juan. You know, over your joint accounts, where it's like, mm mm. Because I'm pretty sure you could have said, no, I don't want nobody. I want the lawyer to be present to read my will and testament. And that is how it's going to go. The pre This is the percentage it's going to be. And, you know, that's all it is. Because you ain't going to leave uh, Todd no money if he decides to tell you that, look, I know you feel this way or that way, but I'm not going to give up on life and love because I'll be here. I might be in my old 80s. I want to talk to somebody. I want somebody. I want to marry them. You know what I'm saying? He needs to have that honest conversation. And Cannon needs to have that honest uh, understanding of where he's coming from. And then they go from there. Uh, but this is how I see it, y'all. I ain't got no more for this video. And y'all make sure y'all continue to subscribe and like my videos. If y'all can do that, you can share my videos. But if you got, you know, if you're like, okay, dear. Okay, cousin. I, look, I'm just going to be subscribing. But not subscribing. So if you already subscribed that one time, you can't resubscribe unless they knock you off the algorithm where you're not getting my notifications or, uh, I don't know, Facebook do some crazy, I mean, YouTube do some crazy shit. They be going undeleting folks, like unsubscribing folks out the blue i don't know it's just like it comes like three times out the year they do that stuff but if you ever find yourself unsubscribe subscribe back okay subscribe back to the channel okay and tell other people about me and definitely like my videos okay it helps my algorithm but other than that i'll see you next time bye